This biology vocabulary video is brought to you by Learning English Pro. I'm Jer and I'll be narrating your lesson today. Topics for discussion are what is a cell, inside the cell, and cell division. So let's begin by answering the question, what is a cell? The cell is the basic structural, functional, and biological unit of all known organisms. A cell is the smallest unit of life, and cells are often referred to as the building blocks of life. And in the human body, there is approximately 37.2 trillion cells. Let's take a closer look at a cell. This is the nucleus at the center of the cell. The inside of a cell is filled with a liquid called cytoplasm. And the walls of the cell are called the cell membrane. Let's take a closer look inside the cell and see what other particles and materials are floating around in the cytoplasm. First up is mitochondria. And mitochondria is responsible for cellular respiration. They are the energy producers of the cell. I'm sure you've heard of the next part of the cell, DNA, also known as deoxyribonucleic acid. DNA is a molecule which takes the shape of a double helix. DNA carries genetic instructions and can be found in all known organisms and many viruses. DNA is essential for development, functioning, and also growth, and for reproduction. Our next item from inside the cell is endoplasmic reticulum. Let's say it one more time endoplasmic reticulum. This is a membrane system and it serves multiple functions, being important particularly in the synthesis, folding, modification and transport of proteins within the cell. Our next particle is lysosome. Let's try it one more time. Lysosome. Lysosome are involved in digestion and waste removal within the cell and they contain digestive enzymes and they digest other particles within the cell which are worn out and need to be destroyed. Our next cell particle is the Golgi apparatus, which kind of looks like folded towels. The Golgi apparatus is made up of membrane-bound sacs, and in its work it processes and bundles macromolecules like proteins and lipids as they are synthesized within the cell. The next particle we'll look at is the ribosome. Repeat after me ribosome and the ribosome is a protein producer. Protein is needed for many cell functions such as repair and directing chemical processes. Did you realize there are so many different parts to a cell? It's really incredible. All these different parts which we've discussed are all organelles. Repeat after me, organelles. And this is what we call all these different parts that reside within a cell. Let's move on and look at cell division. Cell division is the process by which a parent cell divides into two or more daughter cells. And with cell division, there are five different distinct stages. The first is called interphase. Next up, we have prophase. The third stage is the metaphase. Following this, we have the anaphase. And the last phase in cell division is the telophase. And with cell division, there are two different types that we need to discuss. Firstly, we have mitosis. This is a type of cell division that results in two daughter cells, each having the same number and kind of chromosomes as the parent nucleus. And this is typical of ordinary tissue growth. The next type of cell division we'll look at is meiosis. This type of cell division is one that results in four daughter cells, each with half the number of chromosomes of the parent cell. This is common in the production of gametes and plant spores. Can you believe we're at the end of our English lesson? Do you study biology? Let us know what you think of our video in the comments below. And make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to hit that bell to get an instant notification every time we post a new English lesson. And just to let you know, we plan to do lots more biology and science videos in the future.
Before you go, please like this video and if you have any suggestions for a video or a question, please leave us a comment below. We love to hear from you. We're on lots of social media as well, so check out our YouTube channel, Tumblr, Instagram and Facebook. Follow us today and remember, keep learning English like a pro.